In this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to apply the curves effect to the HitFilm 4 Express video editor. You can find the curves effect in the color corrections folder in the effects tab. You left click, hold and drag the curves effect to your desired video clip that you want to apply the effect to and then you let go of the left mouse button. Now that the uh, effect is applied, under the controls tab you untoggle the carrot over here to, uh, to show you the options that you have. Now you have control over RGB, red, green, blue and alpha okay and the RGB is referring to the blacks and the whites if you want to control how black or white your image looks. Alpha is referring to the tra uh, how transparency your video clip looks and so over here you have a graph, the curves graph and these are referring to the shadows these um the the midpoint is re referring to the midtones and this end over here is referring to the highlights of the image the, in other words these can uh, let you control different parts of the image d um depending on its brightness or how dark it is okay and so another thing if you move points to this end over here they will become darker if you move points to this end over here they will become brighter oops they will become brighter like this okay and so let's see what else can I show you if I'll go ahead and uh, show uh, show you how that affects um, all the shadows midtones and the highlights I already showed you if I move this over here from the all both all the shadows midtones and highlights become darker okay and so if you move just the mid uh, midpoint over here only the midtones become darker and if I move this point to that end over here, uh, the shadows become even darker, as long with, um, along with some uh, of the midtones. Okay, and the reverse is true. If I move this over here, the highlights become brighter, leaving um, the midtones less touched and the shadows untouched. If I move the midtones up over here, making them brighter then um, the shadows are actually becoming a little brighter as well. If I move um, the shadows up, then all parts of the image become brighter, even the shadows, as you can see. And so this allows you very, um, a very good control over the shadows, midtones, and highlights for the RGB, red, green, and blue uh, um, color spectrums. Spectrums of color, I should say. And if you want to add contrast to your image so that the colors pop, you can um, uh, make the graph into S shape like this. Okay, so now it looks like this. If I take off the curves effect, you can see that um, it's flatter. But um, putting on the curves effect in this contrast sh um, S shape, you have that pop. The whites are wider, the darks are darker. So it helps the image uh, look more 3D and actually stand out. So this you can do the same with the um, red, greens, and blues if you want to do them as, um, as separate colors. But if you want to do them for all three colors, then you use the RGB channel, which is controlling the whites and the blacks, as I said. Anyways, now if you want to actually make the video flatter, you can do the opposite. You can you can do the opposite S curve like this. It doesn't not look good, but I'm showing you for the sake of demonstration. This is like the anti-contrast. And if you want to achieve a nightmare slash night vision effect, you can just inverse the colors like so. And now you have this um, particular effect. Okay. And you can actually make this look like a green color. If you go to the green channel and then move this point down. Usually this makes the uh, removes the greens from the image. But because I uh, inverse the RGB, you have to do the opposite on this graph, okay? So now this is more of a actual night vision effect, okay? And you can control which colors you want uh, to look green, like so, you know? And this looks actually not so not so bad. Something like this doesn't look too bad for a, a night vision effect. And uh, let me show you what I was talking about. Now, if I um, give me a moment. Now this is the RGB uh, channel as it was originally. If I go to the green channel and then try to do the same S curve, you'll see that no, the greens are being removed. And so that's what I was talking about. If you in inverse the RGB, then you have to do, uh, you have to take th that into account. And so actually, 
When the RGB channel is untouched to make things more greener, you move them to this end, as I've uh, mentioned before for the whites and the blacks. So, you know, that's how uh, you can do the same thing with uh, the red, greens, and blues. And the uh, same rules applied as I've mentioned before. Finally, the alpha channel allows you to control how transparent your image or video clip is. If I move things here, nothing happens. If I move things here, nothing happens. The only uh, control that you have is over this point and uh, just going up and down from here to control how transparent it is. So there are other ways to control the transparency, by the way. And that's all there is to it. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comments below. I'd appreciate you for like and share this video and subscribe to my channel. Bye.